In this video, we are going to practice telling time to the nearest minute. Now let's quickly review that as we count around a clock, each of the lines is one minute. The big numbers count by five minutes as we go around. Let's label those right now. So this is five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, the four is 20 minutes, the five is 25 minutes, the six is 30, seven is 35, the eight, 40, nine is 45, 10, 50, 11, is 55 and the 12 is 60 and then we start all over again as as we go around the clock again counting our minutes so let's start by checking our our hand I extend the line with my pencil and I see that I am between the 7 and the 8 in fact I'm just a little bit past the 7 so I know I am in the seven o'clock hour. Then, using my pencil, I extend my minute hand. And here's the tip I want to teach you today. I want you to put your pencil or your finger. Um, in fact, put your finger on the 12 when you do this. If you're using a real clock or a practice clock, but if you're using an activity on your homework, a quiz, an assignment, you can use your pencil on the paper clock. So we are going to jump to the, the nearest five and say five. Now I'm not going to jump to the next five because my minute hand does not go that far. Um, I, instead, I am going to jump to the nearest one. So I would say five, six, seven, eight. That got to me to where I need to go. So I know that the time is 7.08. 7.08, and to write it as in digital time, I can write it like this, 7.08. 7, the hour is 7 and we're eight minutes past seven. Let's do another one, all right? So again, this time I want you to get the practice clock. In our classroom, they are yellow, and I want you to put the hour hand and the minute hand so they match the clock on the screen. So stop the video if you need a moment to do that. Press play when you're ready to go. All right, since you are using a practice clock, you're not going to use a pencil, you're going to use your finger. Will you take your finger and trace the hour hand until it gets to the nearest hour? And what hour did we get to? That's right, we got to four. Now take your finger and trace the minute hand. Do you see what line it's pointing to? Great. Now, keep that in mind. Go back up with your finger to the 12. Let's count by fives as far as we can go without passing the minute hand. Five, 10. Oh, I can't go any farther because my minute hand is right here. I cannot go to 15. So I'm going to go back to 10. Now, Let's make the little jumps. 11, 12, 13. So I know the time is 4, 13. And to write that as a digital time, it looks like this, 4, 13. Let's do one more. Would you draw or not draw, sorry, on your practice clock, would you please put 
the hands so they look like this. Then figure out what time the clock says. So stop the video, practice the strategy, press play when you're done and we'll check your work. All right, so you should have the time in your mind that you think this clock says. Let's check your work. All right, um, you probably used your finger to extend the hour hand to figure out what hour it is. And I noticed that I am between the 10 and the 11. And since I have not passed the 11, I know that we are in the 10 o'clock hour. Then you probably used your finger to extend the line for the minute hand. And again, we're going to start with the 12 and we're going to count around by fives until we can't um, count by fives because the minute hand blocks us. So when we get to the six, as we're counting by fives, we'll start counting by ones. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So it is 10, 33 on this clock. We could also write it as 10, 33. Make sure that when you are doing a homework assignment or a quiz or a class assignment or a test and you have a paper copy of a clock, make sure that you are using your pencil to um, keep track of what you're counting so you can be accurate. Now, if you're using a practice clock or a real clock, then use your finger to trace as you are keeping track. And if you use this strategy, you'll be very successful with telling time.